been one of those days today. I've lost stuff. I keep losing stuff. Monday morning, I'm in Broadbeach, done the school run with Cody, now I'm uh, checking out the waves, waves could be nice, could be really nice. Excellent, well I will be getting wet this morning, it's a very very nice way to start the week. Um, probably not going to hang here, I'll probably go a little bit further north, just the other side of Main Broad Beach, I think. Monday morning and it's been a cracking start to the day it's still a cracking day I've jumped in the water uh, Gladys has been up um, it's just beautiful I've got to head back to the studio now always lots to do um, excellent way to start the week as you can see the Gold Coast is just turning it on middle of winter it's got to be 23 or 22 or something around that uh, and it's only half past 10 in the morning, so it's just spectacular. Why would you want to be anywhere else in the world but on the Gold Coast? There was some sad news this morning though. No, there is a girl missing. Um, she's five years old. She's missing in Narang. Um, apparently she just ran off from her family yesterday afternoon um, who were out and about. So obviously the search parties are out. They've been out all night. Um, it's just a really sad situation. She's five or six or something like that and with um, having your own kids who are similar ages, you, your heart goes out to the parents. Um, you know, I think I've said before, Cody, Cody probably wouldn't cope very well. He probably wouldn't run off in the first place, but um, Casey, he's a different kettle of fish. He'd hunt down a wild animal and he'd survive, he'd be fine. He'd find a cave to hide in or something, something, something. Um, but the, your heart does go out for the parents. Haven't heard the radio yet, I'm about to turn it back on, so fingers crossed they've found her or located her or something, or there's no harm come to her, so fingers crossed. It's Monday afternoon, admin, admin, admin. It seems to be what you've got to do. Most people think that um, being a photographer must be so glamorous and you're doing all this weird, wonderful stuff, but truth be known, the most exciting thing today was... I did was probably, well, I love being in the water and flying the drone and doing all that kind of stuff. That stuff aside, you get back to here. Most exciting thing I did was rearrange a bit of my Google AdWords account, um, talking to them on the phone. And now I thought I would do a little bit of a Brad's Gadgets. Here we go. So you remember last week I did Brad's Gadgets and I spoke about this. Well, you're about to see this in action because um, I get pretty excited about these gadgets. So um, I end up using them all. So, let's get rid of that. 
get rid of that. So the beauty of this is it's got 10 plugs and four USB. So these are the orange ones, the USB. Obviously these electrical plugs, there's 10 of them on this little power deck. So um, I'm going to turn this into this. How cool is that? So I've got a whole bunch of other stuff over here that I can move onto there as well and I can have my own little it's like a little charging station then for the GoPro and the drone and all those types of things I've got to plug into not only power but USB as well so awesome um, don't forget Coast Enterprises I'll get you the I'll, I'll link it on eBay it's Coast Gift Store so don't forget that Coast Enterprises it's in Surface Avenue Mermaid Beach um, please do call double five five four five six one zero to get that double five five four five six one zero give Al a call don't forget to tell him that Brad sent you Brad's vlog see these these are the remnants of <coughs> the electrical power tidy up that I've done excellent Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're still on Brad's Gadgets. One more product to talk about today is the Retro Vintage Radio. You see that? Awesome product. AM, FM, two-band radio receiver. So bedside, wherever you like, bit of radio in the morning, bit of a wake-up call. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome product. So that's from Arnott's okay retro vintage radio so different colors this one is where's the color indicator this one's red it says red black or yellow you can get it there it is retro vintage radio very very cool very very cool product get into L's for that so coast gift store coast enterprises don't forget it so that's it for Brad's gadgets um, we'll be back next week Great news, just heard on the radio, a little girl's been found, which is very, very cool. Um, they just found her wandering along the street. Well, a passerby found her wandering along the street. So it does make you think, where the hell she been for almost 24 hours overnight? Um, they haven't said much about what sort of a state she's in. Obviously, they probably haven't had a chance to um, have a chat to her or get too many details but um, yeah but anyway listen good news and she seems to be safe and well got the Cody Meister in the back there he is uh, on the way to karate I think Cody's pumped about being on the way to karate Too sleepy for karate. <laughs> uh, you want me to carry you in? And I can do the moves and you can just lie there. <laughs> like a sloth. Are you, are you being a sloth boy? You're being a sloth boy. come to one of my favorite sunset drone places
been one of those days today. I've lost stuff. I keep losing stuff. I lost my goggles in the surf this morning, uh, which I wasn't happy about. And then I lost the little, um, I don't know, USB card reader thing that goes into your computer. So I could, the day's done. I've got to go and get these kids organised into bed. Um, that's it. See you tomorrow.